So intimacy is a complicated subject between couples who live with Parkinson's disease. I'll work from the model of a male-female couple because that's what I know best. Um, sometimes there's an issue with the patient being too embarrassed to bring it up in the doctor's office that they're having sexual issues at home that are worrisome to them and concern or they might bring it up but they're afraid they're partner with them is going to be irritated later that they brought up a delicate subject. So it's, it's one of those taboo topics. Sometimes in healthcare we are a little embarrassed to bring up sexuality issues with our patients and they're a little embarrassed to bring up sexuality issues with their doctors. So that's going to make for a non-discussion, you know, and I think the non-discussion also happens in the couple themselves. Um, if traditional intercourse, in the way most of us think of, of sex, uh, just to use it as a noun there, is not possible or is complicated in a couple, then sometimes they quit discussing that. They could still be sleeping in a queen-size bed together, but they're not touching, they're not kissing, they sort of threw out the baby with the bathwater if there's a problem with uh, erectile dysfunction, for instance. So the question about a, how a couple opens an intimacy dialogue is, uh, is interesting. Oftentimes one partner is, is more concerned or uh, wishes there was change more than the other. So I think opening that dialogue is up to the person who, who is most bothered by what's going on. Sometimes uh, if, that, if that was me, for instance, it's a woman and a couple, I might bring up an article that I'd read and ask for his opinion on that related to what we were talking about. If I've recently learned something in a, in a well woman visit that I think could affect our relationship, I would bring that up as a way to open the topic in a maybe non-threatening way. Basically what I tell my patients is the time to talk about sex is uh, with your clothes on when you're not in the middle of an intimate moment together and sort of work up your courage to say what you like, what you don't enjoy as much as you might have uh, in earlier years, what you wish was possible, um, and ask them, invite them to reciprocate that with what they like and miss or don't miss, and what might be possible if you could think about it together in a calm way. How your physical relationship is now compared to in the past, what you miss, what you wish for, what you don't miss, um, all of those things are important and make for an interesting dialogue when no one is threatened.